Mm. Sicilian style pizza. Simple recipe. I'm going to show you how I do it in the Caloric Max Touch air fry oven. Stick around. All right, so this is just going to be a very simple recipe, as pizza usually is anyway. But what's the difference between a Sicilian pizza and a regular New York style Neapolitan style pizza? Is it's usually a, a, a fluffier crust. It's not a thin crust. Uh, it's a square pizza, and uh, usually there isn't any uh, mozzarella cheese. There's some you can add a little Parmesan cheese, but usually it's not. It's just some uh, tomato sauce with some oregano and olive oil. Uh, I've got about eight ounces of this dough here. This is a pre-made dough, all right, and it's been sitting at room temperature, so it's easy and pliable. I'm going to add some oil to the pan too. A little bit here and a little bit more to the dough because you want it nice and greased. So we're going to just spread that up so it doesn't stick. And that's also going to add some flavor. Take that dough and just stretch it out. The caloric max touch uh, oven, uh, you can fit uh, probably about a, a 10 inch pan. Uh, I've got a 10 by 8 pan, so we're going to just stretch that out. And it's going to be more of a rustic style square pie or pizza. And we're going to give it some divots here. All right. And it's going to pull in. It's okay because it's got the oil on the base here. So we're just going to do what we can with it and keep it going. All right. So for uh, the topping, the sauces, uh, it's basically a marinara sauce. I use some tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes with some oregano, salt, black pepper, uh, and olive oil. That, that's all this is here, and I like it a little bit chunky. And for the, this type of pizza, you kind of want it a little bit more chunky. Uh, I'm also going to add some uh, grated Parmesan cheese or any blends that you have just to the dough here. So we add a little extra flavor. They don't normally add cheese. Uh, this is just to add more flavor uh, for myself, seeing that I'm going to be eating it. Okay, so the next thing is getting this tomato sauce or this marinara sauce on it. And I've got some basil in here, you can see. Now we're just going to get it all on there, go right to the end. Okay, like that. I'm going to add a little bit of more olive oil to the top, like that. A little bit more oregano. Good. And another pinch of cheese. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to get it in, into the Caloric Max oven. I've already preheated it at 400 degrees for about five minutes just to get the oven up to temperature. Now we can adjust the temperature to 450 and I'll let it run. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's take a look. Nice. So here we have my version of the Sicilian style pizza. Well, it's not a normal version, which would be squared. This is kind of oblong, so it's a little... Abby normal. Let's take this off. So you can see the bottom nice and crispy here. Get that out of the way here. Give it a cut. We'll make it look like a square. Ooh, listen to that crunch. Beautiful. And give that. Oh, that sounds really good. So let's give it a little bit more sprinkle of Parmigiano Reggiano. Hey. Alrighty. So take a look at that crust. This beautiful, beautiful looking crust. Nice. Really good, really good. Crust is nice and fluffy. The sauce, real plain, with a little bit of seasoning, comes out really well, comes out really good. Hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe of my version of a Sicilian style Abbey Normal pizza. Give me some thumbs up, some shares, and give me some comments down in, uh, in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.